Hi, I'm Neil Strickland, CEO of GrowthOracle.com, How's My Business Doing.com, and NeilStrickland.com. For anyone that does not know me yet, I'm a management expert who has developed a range of automated business assessment tools for business consultants and advisors, as well as for small and medium business owners. This video discusses business owners and how they can improve their personal productivity. When you run your own business, you're taking more risk in the hope of earning a greater reward for your effort when compared to working for somebody else. But does it always work out this way? The answer is only sometimes. The vast majority of people running their own SME businesses work harder and get paid less than they might get paid for working elsewhere. In fact, the business owners are often the last to get paid and actually survive on what's left over because their staff and key suppliers must get paid first to keep the business going. This was not the original dream that the entrepreneur had for the business. So how can the typical business owner change this situation and increase the odds of getting the financial return they deserve? One way is to increase their personal productivity. With everything being equal and their underlying business being basically sound, SME business owners can increase the likelihood of getting a fair return on their investment in their business by working smarter and not harder and by consciously focusing on their personal productivity. So where does one start? In my view, you need to look at the time thieves that are currently preventing you from being fully productive. These will be some or all of the following. Not getting enough sleep and rest. Arriving and work tired from the previous day. Allowing yourself to become stressed. Bringing work home with you at the end of your work day. Bringing home issues to work with you. Poor diet and thus low energy levels. Lack of proper hydration. Frequent activity switching. Allowing frequent interruptions. Becoming a slave to email. Refusing to have telephone calls filtered and taking every call. Not having a plan for your day. Not having a well-considered plan for your business. Getting dragged into minor issues and conflicts that can be resolved by subordinates. Staying in your comfort zone. Micromanaging employees. Not taking time out to refresh and rejuvenate. Listening to the inner voice that may be negative and holding you back. It's important to remember that we can shape the results we get in our lives and our businesses by thinking deeply about them first. Everything that has ever been created in reality in this world has first been a thought in someone's mind. Look at the inventors of all the technologies we enjoy in the world today and consider that none of these inventions would exist if the inventors had not thought about and conceptualized them first. The lesson here is that we need to be clear in our thinking and clear about what we want to achieve before racing off on what might be the wrong direction. Click on the link on your screen right now for the full article and learn about creating daily rituals, changing bad habits into new habits, using your time better, why you need to avoid task switching, eliminating friction from your mind, and lots of useful productivity tips to change the way you work. Why not also subscribe to the blog so that you can automatically receive free weekly tips and updates from me on issues affecting small and medium businesses. All subscribers will receive a free copy of the first 20 chapters of my new ebook, Managing a Small or Medium Business 101. 40 practical lessons in driving your small or medium business forward.